There's a piece of driving advice my father always shared with me that I still hold to as I drive today. And that's because as a young person, I had a problem tailgating other cars. And my father would always tell me, son, you need to give them enough space so that if they were to abruptly stop, you have enough time to stop and avoid accident and injury. And me and my prideful self would always say, oh, dad, I'm, I'm fine. I've got this. Don't worry. You know, I'm a good driver. But unfortunately, I had to learn the hard way. And one day while picking up my sister, uh, I was driving on the freeway and it was raining and I was behind a woman and I thought I had enough space. But when she stopped, I stopped. But with the rain, it, it, it I didn't slow down and I hit her car and we were both fine. You know, we let insurance take care of the rest, but this could have been avoided if I heeded the words of my father. And I think the word of God is so much like that, where he's always warning us and telling us about the effects of sin in our life and how it separates us from him and how just sin destroys our relationships around us and has devastating effects on our lives as well. It says this in chapter three of Steps to Christ. Our Heavenly Father is a God of love and mercy, but we must not think he will save us if we turn from his grace. The cross of Jesus shows how terrible sin is. When people say that God is so kind he will not cast off the sinner, they should look at the cross. Only through Christ's sacrifice can we be saved. Without this sacrifice, we could not escape from the power of sin. Without it, we could not share heaven with the angels. Without it, we could not have spiritual life. To save us, Christ took our guilt on himself and suffered in our place. The love, suffering, and death of the Son of God shows us how terrible sin is. They also tell us that the only way to escape from sin is to come to Christ. Our only hope for a life in heaven is to give ourselves to the Savior. I don't know where you're at in your relationship with Christ, and I would hope that whatever is separating you from you and the Heavenly Father, that you will continue to just seek the help through Jesus so that you can get rid of any any distractions, any, any barriers, and that you can live happily with the Father. God bless you and have a wonderful Friday.